Where are the Apex videos? Guys, it's Ragtag here, the greatest gutter tier gamer on the face of this earth, and I kind of wrestled with whether or not to talk about this, but I figured I'll do it so you know what's going on, because I just dropped two Fortnite videos, and some people might be getting concerned when they realise that these are going to continue. But if you want a quick TLDR, you know, I'm not listening to this garbage. Uh, the short version is, I'm not done with Apex, but you're not going to be getting as much of it as before. You may go now, and for any anyone else who cares about this longer version, here it is. When I came back in April after my break, the intention was just to play whatever I was interested in and that meant Hitman, uh, GTA 5, Zelda, wh whatever a fun tale was to be had, I'd be there enjoying it. And once Ballistic dropped, I was sucked back into Apex and I also got stubborn with the Road to Diamond to be honest and um, I went in for that one um, on one of the toughest seasons ever. Then the LTM dropped and that three strikes is pretty much my favourite thing that's ever happened to this game since Armed and Dangerous. It is awesome but now that there's no more three strikes keeping up with apex feels like something i'm just not going to manage every single week because since the last few months i now consider it to be the hardest game i've ever played if you knew how many hours goes into gathering the footage and editing it uh well it's more than a full-time job and to put it mildly i am not in the best of health I i've probably mentioned this maybe a few times over the last four years but the gutter tier brand is there for a reason and it's something I'm not really keen to pull the curtain back on but I'm, all, all I'll say is this I am making the best of the cards that were dealt to me for the stage I am at in life I can't sit or stand at my PC all day long I'm not in my 20s or 30s anymore Dr. Disrespect was still in his mum's tum when I was already playing Flight Simulator on the Commodore 16 I can't go into aim labs and expect a miraculous improvement because I don't even know if my digits, my limbs and my vision are going to respond in the way I want them to at any time and that's pretty much all I'll say just now as I usually get bombarded with you know stuff like try this spend time doing that lower your sensitivity raise your sensitivity not really after any advice on how to improve after 4,000 hours of apex or even have a wave of sympathy for what I just said because at this stage it's just a case of trying to have fun with what I've got available and I think moaning about problems it only compounds the issues you get in life anyway so what I do is I take my dad's approach and just be as practical as possible uh, he was telling me a while ago that he was building an office inside his shed but his sciatica parkinson's and his back issues were all getting in the way and even though his hands are completely wrecked he found a way to get his thumb and finger working the throttle on his quad bike and he zipped back and forth from the house to the shed just to transport the materials and he's like nearly 80 years old and he's a beast and that's how I was brought up as well. And you just do it and you shut your mouth and smile. And that way you can still enjoy the little things like a walk in the rain, a snuggle with the puggle, or try your hand at a Bob Ross original. Uh, that, that was my first attempt, by the way. So uh, please go easy on me on that one. But feeling bad for yourself or whatever happened to your health or life is just a one-way ticket to misery. And that's why I like surrounding myself with positive people who don't moan about their problems. Uh, I, I genuinely believe that negative people just drag you down onto a level that you just should never be playing on uh, uh where was that anyway yeah I, I prefer making tales about the fun of a game and i've i've basically i've long since made peace with my inconsistency and I instead embraced it if anything i'm really happy with what i can still do in shooter games now the editing for apex isn't actually all that bad it's time consuming but i'm currently processing applications even now to get someone else on board However, having said that, if I play Fortnite, I can knock that video out in a day or so because of the skill-based matchmaker. In Apex, the lobbies at best have me where, you know, like, okay, let's say the best case scenario is that I would get a coin flip whether or not I'm going to win a fight. And worst case, I'll just get completely beamed by a controller player. Uh, cute people telling me to swap the controller. And I've tried, guys, I just can't do it. So to have a decent narrative in a game of Apex, I would need to win several of these coin flips in a row. And the more videos I make, the more inventive I need to be with the arc of a story, so I'm not saying the same thing again and again. Uh, all in all, the videos I make, I, I feel like it's not that easy to put these things together, so it leaves me in a place where I have to think about whether or not to let this channel die off a bit uh, in between picking up Apex, which by the way I will be doing next week when the new event drops, so I'll probably stream that actually, maybe see about a video if I can make the magic happen. But the smart business decision for this channel would be to, you know, only upload Apex maybe less, like once every fortnight or once a month and just make a new channel for the other stuff, and that's because the YouTube algorithm actually favours discovery as well as viewer habits, so the days of being recommended for who you watch over what you watch 
they are over and YouTube will feed you rabbit holes based on your interests instead of, you know, your top subscribed channels. So if you watch Apex, YouTube will recommend more Apex. If you're watching Fortnite, then that's what it's going to show. You don't watch Fortnite, it's going to show up less when I upload it unless you're falling asleep to my Scottish accent, you know, like hanging off every word I say throughout the day, which I sincerely doubt. Um, anyway, armchair experts, they always, you know, get off the couch and occasionally try and tell me how it all works. So I thought I'd actually explain my awareness of it rather than appear to be clueless with what's going on with these lower views when I'm not uploading Apex. Uh, look, another channel, it might come. I'm in talks with Jelly to get something going together as she's going to be around more for the next year. But right now, the plan for this channel is kind of the same as when I came back in April, is just to make any adventure that I feel fun into an adventure for you. Uh, I do apologize if you all thought that I was back on Apex exclusively, you know, uh, since I've started making videos from Ballistic Onwards. I, I really didn't think about it at the time, but I see now that it has put expectations back on the table. And I want just to let you know, I'm backing off a bit, I'm doing other things. And if that's not cool, I get it. You don't need a YouTube feed cluttered with the stuff you don't want to see. Um, all I can say is I'm not going anywhere, but the content is going to shift a bit until I can get some things in order. I can see a time where I'm going to stop doing tales entirely and create content in a different way, but so long as I find fun in what I'm playing, the adventures will continue. I think that's enough talking for now. Here's my pug again.